1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 45 to 49. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. So too it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly. The second man was from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The first man, Adam, was created by God from the dust of the earth and preceded Jesus on earth. The last Adam, Jesus Christ, wasn't created from the dust of the earth, but is himself a life-giving spirit, consubstantial, or of the same substance, nature, and essence, as the other two members of the Holy Trinity, God the Father and the Holy Spirit, who existed before the human Adam. Just as earthly Adam was the first of humanity, so Jesus is the first to be permanently raised from the dead to eternal life. Jesus died, was resurrected, came back to life, and then at the ascension returned to sit at the right hand of the Father. Keep in mind, all these historical events took place in the view of his earthly contemporaries. Verse 49, Just as we have been born, the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. But what will that image look like? What does the scripture tell us about Christ's body after he rose from the dead? He did not return as a ghost, but rather had an exact physical body. He walked, talked, and ate with his disciples. He was somehow different, and at times it took his words or actions to gain their recognition. But what will that heavenly image look like? I don't know, but it will probably be better than the one you look at in the mirror.